hi besties so consider this a very urgent family meeting we need to have this meeting they are offering new contracts and a contract is binding especially once you get here you give them your paperwork you give them they have a little bit of control over you you are naive you knew maybe you don't really know much about schools this side number one the agent that they're going to give you is representing them way more than they are representing you what do i mean by this so this person is going to be uh, this bridge between you and the school right they will have to explain about the contract they will have to explain about the figures in the contract and stuff while they might have a bit of best interest at heart for you they likely don't really have that they just want you to come so they can get their commission anyway you can't really trust this person so if they tell you that this is how much you're going to get these are the conditions and stuff well cool you're supposed to communicate this, this information for me as per the book by the book now give me someone who's worked for the company because i need to know if this is right for me i want to ask them the questions so that they can explain in reality like in in true human form what exactly is going on there you maybe you're not going to tell them that but that's what you want to know you, you want a person who's working at the school and you want a person who's not asian i don't want to say chinese because that's going to seem weird but you don't want a person who's there like if it's a if it's an asian community you don't want that person you want a person who's foreign preferably if you are you know what i mean because you don't want the other guys lying to you as well because they might they might tell them to not tell the truth i did that in my first school i didn't know what i was doing literally no guidance whatsoever but i did ask to speak to at least two people who worked for the school they gave me someone who's south african which made me feel so much better because this is a person from home she explained everything in detail she, we used emails and then when another teacher who was from the u.s came eventually came we we're going to be teaching the same subject she came and then she assessed the school she also i asked to speak to her as well and then we had a very long conversation i remember over a video call and that made me feel so much better so yes this person the the, the agent is going to be conveying information and telling you the figures but you do want to talk to a person who's experienced what this person is telling you don't just sign a contract that you don't understand also it's like they give you a contract maybe they give you the figures which i think they are taking advantage of people right now well okay maybe you, your money is not your only drive you want to come here to experience the culture to leave a jobless situation at home whatever your reason is but you want to have every and great understanding of what you getting yourself into please don't sign a contract that you don't understand they will say this insurance health insurance maybe your health insurance can you can't even go to an international hospital you can only go to a chinese hospital nothing wrong with that but there is something wrong with that when it's your health and you need to understand everything that they're saying the doctors are saying to you you can't you're relying on a colleague to translate things you just want to have the freedom of going to a hospital that is going to allow you to understand your health you don't want not being able to understand your health and they will give you these many figures and this health insurance looks great but when you really really get here this it's not even a great health insurance so maybe do ask about such things with people so that you can negotiate a contract is meant to be negotiated you don't have to sign a contract exactly the way that they're going to give you you'd rather not sign a contract than sign a contract because you feel pressured to sign a contract if they if if they are pressuring you to sign a contract is it even the right fit for you do you align with such an environment so imagine if the person is not giving you an opportunity to negotiate a contract what that what your working life is going to be like like how you how they deal with you when it comes to the contract is likely how they're going to deal with you when you get this side right you are not supposed to pay for your own 
visa expenses. If you end up paying upfront, they need to reimburse you when you get this side. There's no reason for you to be paying every covering every expense where the visa is concerned. You don't need to do that. Your school also needs to pay for your flight ticket, right? If they saying, yeah, come decide, we'll reimburse you. Okay, it's in your contract, but you can't, they can't, they can't expect you to fly with your own money, do everything visa concerned, paperwork concerned with your own money. You can't do that. Also, at your own risk, you can come here with a tourist visa, which I heard they are currently not giving out. I don't know. You can, it's your own risk, but it's very advisable to come here with a Z visa already so that you don't really have the type of problems some people end up having because of arriving with no proper paperwork. So you don't want them holding things over your head, right? Another thing that we're really, really asking about that we're not going to take for granted is the VED situation. What happens when the VED happens and schools have to go online? Are you guys operating online? Are you guys able, are you paying your teachers during the VED? Ask the teachers who work for the school because they might say, yeah, we do pay the teachers, but you want to hear from the horse's mouth. Some schools, a lot of schools did not pay teachers during the multiple lockdowns we've had here. So you want to know and make sure that it's in your contract as well. Like put it in writing. Don't let them just say it, but you want it to be in writing so that when something happens and they're not honoring that, then you can challenge them. You also want to make sure if your intention is to save, you're not really interested in the cultural aspects of things and living abroad, you really want to save, you really want to try to negotiate housing. You want to. It's like not even an option. It's Housing is so important and some schools are not offering housing. I want you to try and be like, hey, you guys, I can see that the contract is great. I appreciate it. It's thoughtful, but I wanted to ask about housing because I don't see anything about housing here. If they say, no, we don't offer housing, then you negotiate. Where am I going to live? How much is housing there? Let them connect you with some agents, some housing agents and stuff. You just try to let them give you something, even if it's 2,000 RMB, 2.5, because it's not nice to have to pay housing from your salary. A school is, I 100% believe that a school, your school is supposed to give you something for your rent, especially when you're moving all the way from abroad, from your country to live here, and they're not even offering you housing. Why? right so if you if your contract is it's just a norm in the school that they don't give out housing i don't know find a way to negotiate and state your reasons another tip here is when you negotiate your contracts after i've done this before now with the experience that i have here you don't want to come across as combative and maybe arrogant you want to come across as reasonable in any situation really in life you want to be like, hey, because of this reason, I think I would love to have housing. Like, that's how I got out of living at work, for example, because I'm supposed to be living at work. And after living at work for a year with no kitchen, there was my way out. There was a kitchen, but it was far from where we used to live. It was not very convenient. So I was like, I love living here. It's awesome. I, I save money. I don't have to pay. But I do have one problem. I'm not living a very healthy lifestyle because I'm not able to use the kitchen conveniently and as much as I want to and for that reason I would really love to negotiate getting an apartment outside of off campus and then no problems they're just like oh yeah that makes sense so this how much you're going to get which was way in, it was enough for my apartment I don't have to take from from my salary to live here see negotiate please when you get here have your paperwork with you. Don't give your school your everything. They might need to, or they might prefer um, holding on to the residence card thingy, permit, residence permit or something like that. Um, they might want to hold on to what else? They hold on to two things. In my school, they do. But the problem with that is, say you want to leave, say you get a different job and you're just like, I want I want to go to a different school, maybe your contract's not over yet. They might not want to release you 
because they do have your paperwork so just try to have your things with you so that should you not like the environment you're in you're able to move to a different school or just go back home or have them because the biggest thing is have them release you you need to get this letter that releases you because without that letter you know it's not easy for you to move to a different school and some schools are very very dodgy when it comes to that moral please don't be too desperate to sign your life away of things that you don't really understand understand your contract see i'm not a lawyer i'm not so you can you can also share it with me so that i can see if it makes sense maybe point out questions that you can ask you can ask a lawyer friend you can ask another person who's not even a lawyer who's worked for a number of years maybe you knew in this to this working life situation but have someone else help you don't just sign a contract because you're desperate and you're too excited and it's a lot of money and it's no schools here look out for themselves not you they don't really care about you